This just in. Dragons have taken over the world. Ooh. And the only way we can stop them is by whoosh, toilet roll ninjas. So let's see how we are going to get them. Take it away, Mr. Crafter. So the first thing we're doing is getting a toilet roll. Once we've got that, we're going to grab some paint and a paintbrush. Any color will do. It's your choice. But I'm going to make a black shadow ninja. So let's get to our painting right now. Yeah, just remember to leave a little spot open for our eyes, which we are going to do that right now. So let's grab a pen or a pencil and we can draw whatever kind of eyes we like. Once we've got our guideline, you guessed it, we're going to get some paint again. So what color should we make it? Blue or orange? What do you think? Yeah. Great work. So now we've got a toilet roll. It's painted. It has some eyes. Let's give it a uniform. Hmm. What do we call a ninja's uniform? Do you know? Ooh. Leave a comment and let me know. So let's put that over there. Close the paint so we don't mess anywhere. Yeah. So now to be nice and neat, let's get some string. Any string will do and any size will be fine. Give it a nice little cut. Remember, if you need help, you can always ask an adult. We should never ever use scissors without someone older near. So we're gonna tie it just below our eyes. Doesn't have to be too tight, doesn't even have to be neat, because every ninja is unique. And all what that does is stops us from painting above the line. Bam. Orange time. And now, depending on how dark you want your ninja's uniform, we can either give it one coat, three coats, a hundred coats. But just remember, we've got a time limit. Those dragons are coming. Wow, that was very tiring. Now, we've got to do the exact same thing to the bottom side. So make sure we rest our paintbrush. Stay over there so we don't mess anywhere and then we're going to take another piece of string again not too long not too short and we're going to tie it around the bottom of our toilet roll so now that the paint's dry let's get rid of the string around our ninja and the very next thing we're going to do is grab some of our glitter, which ooh, magically appeared on the table, turn it upside down and give it a shake. And we're going to do two lines running across the front of our ninja. And that will allow him to take his ninja uniform on and off when he needs to. This can be as thick as you want it or as thin as you want it. The choice is yours. The main thing is, it's in the shape of a Y, the capital Y, and we leave it to dry one more time. But while that's busy, let's get our ribbon. Bam, doesn't have to be very long, we just need two pieces.
one piece, and two pieces. Perfect. The first one's going to go around our ninja's head. So we can put it right on top. Let's do it this way. And we get a nice... Now be careful. Ooh, I haven't let it dry yet. It's not dry. So I have to make sure that I don't mess it up. Go. Give it a turn. We can adjust it just a little bit. Give it a nice little angle. There we go. And let's get to our weapon, our straw. Wow. I've already cut a nice little point on the one side. Be careful. Ooh, don't hurt yourself. And if you need help, again, ask an adult to cut the straw for you. And then we're going to cut a nice straight line on the other side. Down the middle. So we have two swords that can go inside of our belt. Unless you want one or any other weapon you like you can make. Let's use our other piece of string. And again, be very careful because our glitter still hasn't dried enough to actually ooh, continue. But we are going to be brave and work it out. Turn it around so I can see. There we go. And do another little knot. <gasps> we almost messed it up, but we didn't. We managed to save it. And let's give our belt a nice trim. And then the very last thing that we have to do is put his weapon on the inside. Go. And now we have an orange ninja to go with a green ninja to fight off the dragons. Good luck and see you next time.